While huge numbers of you may have your hands totally full with dealing with an all-day work that is unexpectedly moved altogether distant with no arranging, a house loaded with pets, accomplices, and youngsters that need thinking about and consideration, and the enthusiastic load of a worldwide pandemic truly beginning to grab hold. There are others still with some extra time recently loaded up with social commitment and general life COVID-19 stuff who are hoping to help. On the off chance that you end up being of the last assortment and are hoping to put your aptitudes, information, and an extra ideal opportunity to great use, you are in karma. This previous week has seen the dispatch of various hackathons, activities, and articles gathering together those different and diverse. And in the event that you've missed every one of them in endeavoring to continue working in rational, we've chosen to carry them to you here. For most of you with your hands full, here's a perspective of things to come programmers about how basic they are and how straightforwardness functions in their gas. Did you know how essential this information to our fellow Filipinos when it comes to financial assistance? In times like this, it is essential that we know how much money we can get from the people's funds. Through this, it will lead us to transparency and also it will be easy to determine what amount or how much is the amount that we can get from our region. Do you know how this information is made? I will teach you how. Before I teach you how we made our program, first, I will give a brief explanation about our program. The main purpose of our program is to give people the information of what is the amount of the amelioration they will receive from their government based on their region and the amount of members of their country. We have here our program. On the first line, we have the import Java that UTIL that's fun, which is for the input of the program. Then public public class main, public static void. On the fourth line, we have the scanner reader equals new scanner open close parentheses system in. This is for the first input of our system which is the recipient name on this part the user will enter he its name then the system will recognize it then output print it out the variable for the name is the rn right here then after the user en enter its name the system will display the choices of region where on this part, the user will pick his or her region or he or she will know what the amount of amelioration he or she will receive. After the user enter he, his or her region, it will direct it to each case. The first case is the NCR. When the user enter NCR it will ask if the user is four, mer four or more than four members in the family and she will answer why if yes and, and if no then if the user enter yes the system will print or output the name of the user then the his or her region which is NCR then it will also output the wage rate he or she will receive which is the 537,000 per month and the total amelioration the amount of the total amelioration he or she will receive which is 6,650 if on the NCR and if she he or she type 
know which is in the system will also print he his or her name then the region and CR and the wage rate is also 537 but the ratio is 8,000 then if he or she enter a wrong variable the system will print out choice is not registered then after that it will break which is will end the program on the CAR region it, it's actually the same with the uh, other step which is the system will ask again if your four members or more than four members and if your answer is yes but the difference on each case is the amount of wage rate the region and the amount of amelioration in the CAR if the user enter CAR and he enter yes which is why it will also print out its name but the wage rate on CAR is 350 which is much more higher than in CR then the amount of amelioration is 4150 on NCR they have 6650 so in CAR it has a more than it has a much more amount of amelioration and if the user enters no it will also display the name the region then the wage rate is 350 pesos and the amelioration is 5500 which is much lower compared to ncr which is 8000 then the next and same as the ncr if the user enter a wrong variable it will also display choice is not registered and break on the case one is which is region one region i for roman numeral the same it is the same with other case but different amount of wage rate and amelioration if the on region one if the user enter y or yes it will display the name his or her name he, the region and the amount of amelioration 340 for the wage rate and the amount of amelioration is 4150 and if the user enters no the system will print his or her name the region but the wage rate is 340 and for the amelioration amount of amelioration is 500 5500 then also if the user is doesn't enter the correct variable it will also display choices not regi registered as for the region 2 it will also ask if your four members or more than four members and the user said enters y or yes the system will print out the username the region but the wage rate is 370 and for the amount of amelioration is 4150 and if the user enters n or no the system will also print out the name of the user the region the amount the wage rate which is 370 and for the amount of amelioration is also 5,500 it's the same with the 
region 1 here then on the case i i i which is region 3 for root in the roman roman numerals in here it's the same the system will also ask if you're four members or more than four members which is said yes the system will bring its name the region the wage rate which is 4200 the amelioration is 5150 and if the user enters n or no the system will also print the name re region the wage rate, wage rate is 420 and the amount of amelioration is 650 then also if the if the user enter a wrong variable or choices the the system will print choice is not registered here now you may be wondering why we didn't use double the reason why we don't use double because it will take us much more longer the code will will takes much more longer or space or time we so basically if we make the variable double it will take us much more work in time so we decided to direct to just print it out or make it a string because the output is still the same so for lesson for us to lessen our work we chose to just print it out and use only string for our variable as for the next case which is region 4a by other mem member which is Kyla will explain it to you. Thank you. I am Kyla Andrea Tamayo and I will discuss the continuation of our Java program application. So this is the Java console application and its purpose is to print the recipient name the region and the wage rate and of course if, if the recipient is a purpose member or not so in line output na may mag output na recipient name which is seto so need mo i-enter yung pangalan mo so for example Romel Rebellosa yan so pag enter mo may mag output na recipient name Romel Rebellosa then pag enter mo ulit may mag output na enter region Choose this one. Then may mag output na enter here. Kung saan, i-enter mo or isa-select mo kung, sa, kung saan region ka naka-base ngayon. And, for example, region for a Then, after that, pag enter mo, may mag output na tatanungin ka if for best recipient ka ba. So, if yes, i-enter mo yung Y. And if no, i-enter mo yung N. So, for example, ano, 
for quiz recipient ka, so enter mo yung Y, then maga output si si recipient name after that recipient name ay malalayosa then kung saan region ka na kabase which is for a then maga output ang wage rate mo which is four hundred pesos then maga output rin kung magkano ang amount na makukuha mo sa sub which is the amelioration which is 5,150 pesos. But if hindi ka naman Forpis member, yan, same process pa rin, pero magbabago yung amelioration amount na makiklaim mo. So, ganda siya. mag output sa recipient name. Ayan. So, for example, ang name mo is Romelor Villosa. Ayan. Recipient name, Romelor Villosa. And after that, mag output ang regions. kung saan ka nakabase. So, i-enter mo kung saan region ka ba. So, for example, again, region 4A. And after that, tatanungin ka if 4PIS member ka ba or 4PIS recipient ka ba. So, dahil hindi ka nga 4PIS member or recipient is ang i-enter mo is N, which is no. Then, mag-output ulit si recipient name or malibilya sa enter mo, wala naman sa choices. Kaya, hindi siya nakaregister. So, again, if hindi ka for this member, same process pa rin, pero mag-change yung makiklaim mong amelioration amount, which is ito. Enter the recipient name, for example, again, Kyla Andrea Tamayo. Then, mag-output si recipient name, Kyla Andrea Tamayo. Then, after you enter that, mag-output ang choices ng region. Enter mo kung saang 
region ka naka-base. So, for example, region for B. Then, after you enter that, tatanungin ka if for best recipient ka ba? So, dahil hindi ka nga for best recipient, ang i-enter mo is N, which is no. Then, magka-output again, ang recipient name mo. Kung saan region ka naka-base, ang wage rate mo, which is 320 pesos. Then, ang amelioration amount na ma-claim mo, which is 5,000. Okay, so what we have in here is the case 9 for Region 9. We have here the system that out the print backslash n, which indicates a new line. We have here the new lines for four piece recipients. If yes, enter y. If no, enter n. And enter here. You can see here that the enter here indicates um, the interaction between the user and the program itself. We have here the ps is equal to in that next open and close parentheses and semicolon. This indicates that it finds and returns the next complete token from this scanner. Then we have the conditional statement. If ps that equals to y, which means yes, then it will print out the line recipient name, what you have entered, the region 9, the wage rate, which is 316 pesos, the amount of amelioration, which is 3,650, and the curly braces. The cur this curly braces, or curly brace, rather, is the black of this statement. Then we have the counter, which is the else if. If the el else if ps that equals n, which indicates if it is a no, then what will be printed out is the line recipient name, your name, region 9, the wage rate of 316 pesos, and the amount of amelioration of 5,000 pesos. Here we have the else. This else indicates as a default. If what you have entered is not in the choices, what will be printed out is choice is not registered. The most important part of this is the break. This break indicates na kinakailangan mo tong gamitin for the program to flow and to reach its break. Kapag hindi mo to ginamit, ang mangyayari, yung program na ginawa mo ay magpo-flow ng magpo-flow hanggang sa ma-reach niya yung break. Sinasabi. So, the case 10 and so on and so forth is the same process as what we did in case 9. However, nagkakaiba lang siya sa region, sa wage rate, and the amount of amelioration. Why? Because every region has its own standardized rate of what amount or how much is the amount that they will give to the person. Okay, so here we have an instance for the program's output. The program will ask you to enter the recipient name and you have to enter the region of your choice. And then, 
the program will ask you if you are a four piece recipient. If yes, enter Y, and if no, enter N. You have to enter your answer and it will print out the recipient name, the region of your choice, the wage rate, and the amount of amelioration. For this instance, the user entered a recipient name as Romel Revelioza. He entered 9 for region 10 and answered the question if he is a 4 piece recipient. He entered N as a sign of no. The program printed out the user's name, the region, which is region 9, the wage rate, which is 316 pesos, and the amount of amelioration, which is 5,000 pesos. Well, in this case, we have um, different things. The program asked to enter the recipient name, so we entered it again. So, enter the region. However, we entered here Bataan, which is not included in the choices of the regions. So, what will be the output is choice is not registered. How about this one? We have the case of yes. So the program asked to enter the recipient name. If the user entered Kyla Andrea Tamayo. She entered the region, which is 10. The program asked if she is a four-piece recipient. If yes, enter Y. If no, enter N. The user entered here Y as an indicator of yes. So what will be printed out as the user's name or the recipient name as Kyla Andreta Mayo, her region, her wage rate of 365 pesos, and the amount of amelioration of 4,650 pesos.